Yo, what's going on everybody? OG back here with another breeding video and you guys might hear my Axie Homeland music in the background. It has been on non-stop over the past couple days. Um, but let's get into the point of the video. We're hatching our second cycle of uh, plants and AOE aquas. So let's see if we hit some uh, some juicy juicy new hatches. Let's let's get it. Okay, so you guys can see we are now into the account, and uh, we're gonna do this the same way we've been doing it uh, the last little while. So we're gonna open up a new tab for each one of these new eggs. We have four plant eggs and we have four aqua eggs. Um, the plant uh, body parts we're looking for, we're looking for Kataro eyes, leafy on the ears. Uh, we want bamboo shoot, we want a scarab if we can get it, and uh, maybe a carrot on the back if, um, if we can. That would, be, that would be the ideal setup. And while I get logged in here, uh, shout out to everybody that's a part of this uh, breeding farm with me. Um, Steven, Bad Ramses, and Troy Flynn, all members of the OG Esports Axie Guild. Um, all captains within the group and uh, all kind of partners on this on this venture um, So let's get in. Let's hatch some eggs um, I do also want to mention that I am dressed up because uh, I am working um, I do have a regular nine to five that I work from home So that is why I'm all dressed up. Uh, I you know, I don't wear the collared shirts just for these videos You know all right now that we got that out of the way Let's get back to some hatching Back to some hatching. Um, so I'm just kind of using my lunch break right now to uh, to get these hatches in. Um, and I'll mention too, I hope everybody had a fantastic holiday break. Um, it was really nice to just kind of relax for a little bit, um, get to play some Axie Homeland, uh, also playing Overwatch, playing a little bit of Call of Duty, um, getting in some Origins Theory Crafting. So it's all kind of in the mix here. Um, as well as getting to visit friends, friends and family, which is always uh, always a blast. So we've morphed all the eggs. I feel like it might need another second, but maybe we can go in and we can check it out. Oh, there we go. The first one, it came out with iguana. Okay, not bad. We got the confused eyes. Not perfect, but leafy, serious, bamboo shoot. Bamboo shoot's been really hard for us to breed so far. Um, so to get bamboo shoot is a win, uh, scarab as well, and then iguana on the back. Um, iguana, it's not terrible, to be honest. 60 damage, apply heal block for four turns. Um, so not bad as a DPS Axie. Obviously, you'd like the Kataro eyes a little bit better. You'd probably prefer a different tail, but overall, pretty good Axie. Probably give it a, a 6 out of 10. 6.5, maybe even 7.5. Depends how generous we're feeling today. Axie number two. Oh, look at that baby. This is what I've been trying to breed for, uh, well, it's only been two cycles, so it's not like it's been forever, but um, this is this is the money man. This is what we needed. This is uh, 10 out of 10 for what I was trying to breed. Um, I lied, actually. It's got a cactus on the top instead of a, instead of a uh, bamboo shoot. Um, so maybe we'll give it a 9 out of 10, but still a gorgeous uh, Axie for... Um, the naked meta, which is um, going to continue to evolve with the new changes, but um, based on the changes, I still do expect Leafy to be a, a pretty strong build in naked. Um, so very happy with this Axie. Oh yeah, can I get a ho oh, yeah from the chat? Drop a ho oh, yeah in the comments for me. All right, number three. Oh, so close. We got the iguana again. This iguana's coming through strong, but the Kataro eyes came through leafy, serious, bamboo shoot on this one, scarab, and iguana. So a little bit better than the first one, uh, so we got to give this one an 8. Um, this would be number 2, but uh, as you guys can see, the the breeding line is getting better and better as we continue here. Um, last one, can we hit 4 good ones? Yes, we can, absolutely. Look at this, this is the perfect one. Hey, can I get a ho oh, yeah? Okay, I'm hyped. I'm hyped. The ho yeahs are flying. We'll give this one. Uh, we'll give this one ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. The jeans are pretty good as well. I don't know where pigeon post came from. If that's just like a mutation, or if that was actually in the jeans somewhere, but um, very solid. 
Okay, let's quickly run through these again just because we're very happy. So this guy actually turns out to be the worst out of the bunch. Um, and he's even not bad. Um, happy that it came through with Bamboo Shoot. Um, happy that it got Scarab and Leafy, Sirius, and then Iguana and Confused were the two that were like, meh. Um, this one, obviously, very happy with this one. We got a Cactus instead of a Bamboo Shoot. Not bad. Um, similar thing here, except this guy's got a Iguana on the back. Um, decent Axie overall. And then finally, the uh, the best of the bunch. Um, with Kataro, Leafy, Sirius, Bamboo Shoot, Scarab, and Carrot. So... Um, I'd say we have a pretty solid uh, team here. You could even make a team with just these axes. Of course, you would need a, uh, a clover as well, but um, the clovers typically are cheaper to get than the leafies. So you could buy a clover, put two of these leafies in the team, and uh, probably this one and this one. You put these two together, and then you put a clover, uh, a clover plant on this one, and uh, your build is solid for naked. Let's hope we have just as much luck here with the aquas. I'll give a little prayer to Jiho. Come on, baby. Give us that luck. AoE Aquas. If I remember correctly, the line on this was not as strong as the plant line that we've gotten to. Um, difficulty in the first cycle to get the body parts that we wanted, which is making it harder in the second cycle. Um, as you can see here, we didn't get uh, a ton of AoE cards. Um, we didn't get Gil. We didn't get Catfish. Those are the two main ones. Um, we also wanted Ranchu. We didn't get that. So... Um, I'd classify this as a miss, however, um, it's a pretty good miss. Um, honestly, I don't really hate the Axie overall. Um, the fact that it has Shrimp is nice, because that has the targeting on the front or the back. Um, Jiro to apply the Fragile, uh, Belieber, um, this is a decent actual AoE card these days. Um, especially if you can get some Rage Stacks, because if you can hit with Belieber and, and uh, consuming Rage Stacks, it's actually quite powerful. Lamb is also powerful, Hero is good as well, um, and Shulstar is uh, a little bit better since it just got buffed in the most recent update. Um, give this Axie a 5, maybe. Um, maybe it's a 6, but because it's not the parts we were looking for, maybe we'll give it a 5. Probably not the strongest one we've bred today. Here's number 2. Mm, again, not, not ideal. We didn't hit Gill again, we didn't hit Catfish again, um, and Shulstar is coming through. Ranchu in the R1, but yeah, this is uh, this is an Axie you could probably buy on the market for close to the floor, so we'll give this one even worse than the last one. We'll give that one a 4. We won't spend too much time on it. It's ugly. Next Axie, still not looking good. Apparently, Hero is like the strongest gene that I that I bred. Um, Gil comes through in the R1 again, so just not getting the luck here with these Aquas. Um, hopefully, they don't turn out to be meta. <laughs> give us a little bit of... Uh, of breathing room here trying to breed it um, pink cheek for some extra draw has some decent damage maybe another five not good not good last one though can the last one save it no not gonna save it came through with ranchu which is nice but uh, telescope eyes pink cheek for draw cards risky fish shoal star goldfish not what we want to see not what we want to see. So the aqua line obviously still needs work. However, the plant line is uh, is looking very solid. So um, just to give us another look here, we'll go back and we'll look at the inventory. We'll look at all the axes here at once so you guys can see both lines. Um, like I said, the, the plant line is coming through very well. Um, so this is only our second round of breeding and we're already got a couple copies of what we're looking for. Um, and then on the aqua line, that line still needs some work. It's almost at a point where we just have to restart the line. Um, and just to elaborate on what I mean by um, restart the line, um, typically you'd like to use the best Axie from each one of your breeding cycles carried forward in the next breeding cycle as you continue to build your farm. Um, that's what we did with the plants and it worked out really well. Um, in the first cycle of the aquas, we didn't really get a perfect one. Um, so we, conti we continued breeding with that one that wasn't, didn't turn out exactly how we wanted. Um, and as a result, the baby's also, you know, not too hot. But um, the plant is a good example of, of what you would like to do. Um, and if you guys go back to some of the other videos that I have posted recently in terms of breeding, you guys can see the first round of the plants. Um, and then we just carried forward those plants. 
um, into the next round of breeding here and which has gotten us some good results. Um, so happy with these. So we'll continue this breeding line on. The aquas might be time to restart. Um, maybe as a bonus, um, I'll do I'll do a couple breeds for you guys live here and make some more eggs. Um, so this is a little bit of bonus content. Um, this was our best uh, reptile from before. Um, I'm going to go ahead and breed him out. Maybe I won't do it on stream, but uh, I'm going to breed this out another four times. So we'll have another cycle of this. Um, we've also decided to stop breeding our bird line um, because the most recent patch, uh, I wouldn't say completely nerfed birds, but it took away a lot of the competitive advantage that the birds had. Um, that was the owl attack got reduced. So the machine gun birds, the owl got reduced by one attack. Uh, so that hurt them. And then also feathers um, now only hit once every two attacks. So the damage doesn't scale as quickly. Um, so for those reasons, we've decided to stop the, the bird line. So at the moment, we have the, uh, the plant line, the reptile, the poison reptile line, and uh, the aqua line. Um, yeah, so this will be this actually will probably be in the next breeding video that you guys see. Um, one other thing that we can do really quick while you guys are here and while we're all together, <coughs> we can claim all of our stocking stuffers. Um, so I'm going to claim all my accessories. Why can I only claim 40? When I have 55 that I don't know but let's go ahead and claim them um, I did get a lot of the X the the Christmas uh, accessories um, however I didn't get any of the high rarity ones um, the I got a couple rare ones like a couple stockings couple candy canes puff bread um, but no epics and no snowman um, I did have a plan to continue to release more you guys can see I finished 148 um, but I was waiting on some uh, some funds to come through that didn't actually come through yet. So I'm still waiting for those and that was gonna be some of the money I was gonna use to buy and release more axes. That's okay, just means I'll have more uh, funds in the account for later on. Um, so just to kind of go back here and we will attach a couple accessories. We'll, we'll do it on this new plant that we just hatched because it looks gorgeous. Um, and I'm learning how to do this, so bear with me, but we'll go manage axe. And I guess we can equip said Axie. Okay, cool. So now we're in here, we have all of our uh, accessories and we can attach them. And I guess we wanna go by part because we wanna do the best one on each part. So maybe there's there's neck, cheek, hip, uh, air, and ground. So we have no ground ones. I guess we're gonna put the dragonfly on this guy. Lowest ID will be equipped. Okay, cool. Uh, we need a hip. A bug stamp okay cool that's that's all right he's got a bug stamp now with his dragonfly so he's just a big fan of bugs um, we can give him lips or blood we'll give him a kiss on the cheek because I think the blood's a little dark so someone loves this guy so that's good he's got a little kiss there and then on the neck we can I don't know I don't know which one to do we could do a stocking uh, we could also do a candy cane or a puff bread huh <laughs> the stocking looks kind of funny Let's try the puff bread instead. Looks a little better. Candy cane. Hmm. Ornament? No, oh, maybe we should try this one first, a snowflake. I don't even know which one's my favorite so far. I think it's an interesting spot. It'd be cool if like they had a chain on them, you know? Like a chain, you know, chain. Can't see it really on cam, but, and hung the ornaments or the, the neck item off the chain. It just looks like he's kind of got like a goatee right now, you know what I mean? <laughs> See, like, look at that acorn ornament. Hey, get my background back. Gotta see me and Sweet throwing up the uh, the Axie in Dubai. Anyways, um, boom, 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 boom. I don't even know which one I like best. Maybe Snowflake? I don't know, the acorn's kind of chill too. I don't know, let's go with the snowflake. But there you guys go. That's uh, that's how easy it is to add accessories to your Axie. So now this guy's all pimped out. He's ready to rock and roll. And uh, he's ready to go breed again. Start uh, the third cycle of the plants. Um, so I need to find him a partner. If you got a partner, slide in my DMs. Uh, maybe we could swap. We could trade uh, one of the babies. One of my babies from my cycle for one of your babies. Breed them together. 
It's all good. Okay. Anyways, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this. I need to get back to work and uh, we will talk again soon.